Good morning. Welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk. It's Chair Campbell. Welcome back, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to everyone. Usually about this time, I'm going to do a news article, a current event. I always do that after my morning devotional, which that video will post pretty soon. But this one is going to be a, a quick video. And the title of this video is going to be Those Who Comment on YouTube or just as hypocritical as the Pharisees who threw insults at Jesus, right? That's what the title of this video is going to be. Because there's a lot of hypocrites online. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to read from John chapter 8, starting at verse 37. And I'm going to make a comparison, right? This shouldn't take long. But I'll make a real quick comparison. Cancel culture, right? Jesus had it his time and we still have it now and so i'm going to make this comparison so john chapter 8 starting verse 37 sons of the devil reject the son of god name the father son and the holy spirit i know that you are abraham's descendants but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you i speak what i've seen with my father and you do what you have seen with your father they answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth, which I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You do the deeds of your father. Then they said to him, we were not born of fortification. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Nor have I come of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word. You are you are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. Because I tell you the truth, do you not believe me? Which of you convicts me of sin? And if I tell you the truth, why do you not believe me? He who, he who is of God hears God's words. Therefore, you, you do not hear, because you are not of God. And the Jews answered and said to him, Do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me. And I do not seek my own glory. There is one who speaks. There is one who seeks and judges. Most surely I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So here Jesus is telling them that to be a child of Abraham is not enough. But simply, so to be a child of Abraham, so Jesus tells them to be a child of Abraham. Well, it's simply not enough. It's, it's, it's not enough to simply be related by blood. Rather, Abraham's true children share his faith and virtue. St. John Chrysostom teaches that our Lord wanted to detach the Jews from radical pride and, and to teach them no longer to place their hope of salvation in being of the race of Abraham's children by nature, but to come to faith by their own free will. Their idea that being a descendant of Abraham was enough for salvation was the very thing that prevented them from coming to Christ. From coming to Christ. So they thought because they were the seed of Abraham, they had no spiritual debt, meaning no spiritual death. We all have spiritual death if we don't repent. As we see in verse 48, this is where I make the, 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 the comparison. So they called, and the Jews answered and said to him, did we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? So here, they're, 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 they're unable to defeat Christ through logic or truth. These enemies re resort to personal insults right there. And that is what I see on YouTube. Personal insults, right? You're saying things that make no sense. You don't know me. I don't know you. But where's the respect, right? See, my page and my channel speaks for itself. See, the Bible says 
if you're going to boast in anything, boast in the cross, right? Each and every day, I do the Lord's work, right? Whether it's from reading an article to someone, to doing these devotionals, or even teaching out the Bible. Yet, the comments that keep pouring in show me that this world is completely falling. Some of you claim to be Christian, but you don't act very Christianly. Matter of fact, the stuff that some of you write, I question if God is in you, right? Serving the Lord is about a relationship. It's not about religion. It's not about where you go to church. It's a relationship, right? What I portray each and every day, morning, afternoon, evening, whenever I do my videos, is I portray the relationship that I have with Him, right? I serve to do His will, His purpose. And by doing that, I serve all of you, right? The true definition of minister is to serve someone else's will. But why are there so many of you out there who treat other Christians the way you do and you claim to be a Christian or maybe you're not? And some of you that are commenting, I know aren't Christians, but you have no respect though. You resort to insults and name calling. Why? You want to know why? Because you have no discipline. You have no obedience. You, don't, you, you do not understand self-denial or even struggle. Instead, you live by tearing other people down, which you think makes you feel better. But in reality, you can't tear people like me down because I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep doing what I do, right? As JPC spiritual talk moves forward, right? Comments should remain respectful. If they aren't, they will be removed, right? I think that that's fair. If your if your comments cannot be respectful then they will be removed. I think that that's fair. If name-calling and insults continue, they will be removed. I think that that's fair, too. If you cannot be respectful, right? I can't believe I'm having this video and this talk. It's like talking to my children. If some of you act like children, right? Some of you comment like your children, right? So it makes me wonder. The cancel culture of Jesus' time is the same as it is today. That's the point I'm trying to make. Those of you placing insults at me, you don't know me, right? When I read an article, I read just an article, right? That's it. No different than anybody else on YouTube. You can find people on YouTube who read articles all the time, just like people who read the Bible. You don't have to subscribe to my page. You don't have to come here, right? But here we do his work, his will, his purpose each and every day, no matter what we do. Doesn't matter whether I read from an article or read from the Bible. I do a little bit of everything. I read articles. I read and teach from the Bible. I do devotionals. We pray. I ask for prayer requests. Right? I try not to engage too much with the comments because I don't really have time for that. But I've noticed that the comments are now getting out of control. And many of you act like children. And now I have to bring this in. Right? Insults. Not welcome here. If you do not know somebody, then do not talk to them the way you are. Maybe you should get get to know somebody, right? But that's all I have. I'm gonna close this video out now. Okay. So I wanted to read that and make a comparison, right? And why I wanted to read that because a lot of you that are commenting, there is no God in you, right? Because if there was God in you, you wouldn't say the things that you say you wouldn't make those accusations that you make if there was god in you if you're going to say something about somebody then you should be able to prove that or back that up but if you don't know somebody then what you're saying is false it's like false witnessing is false accusations it's just more nonsense you put down because you're probably hurting those who bully people online they're hurting man that's all it is online Bullies are no different than physical bullies, right? So call it out. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to call it out, right? And I'm going to call it out, and I read from John chapter 8 to call it out, right? Those of you who are acting this way, your father is Satan, right? So when you're treating people this way, 
you're doing the will of your father, which your father is Satan, and that's how I'm going to end this video. Those of you that are mean and vicious online with the attacks and insults, you're doing the will of your father, which is your father is Satan. And that's all I have to say. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord God, you spoke with your divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners that comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith. Having to blame his life and conduct without reproaching Christ our Lord. And to you, we give glory, you are a light. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The sages, amen. Our Father, who art in heavens, how be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and this ages. Amen. We depart in peace. In the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. Right. Thank you all again. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Sages. Amen. Chair Wesley Campbell. I love you all so much. I'm out.